Hello everyone, welcome to the Film My Run channel and welcome to our look back at week three of my Paris Marathon training block. Remember I'm going for a sub three marathon in Paris on April the 2nd. So at the moment we are sticking to 100 kilometers a week and we'll do that for the next three weeks as well and then we'll start ramping it up a bit. But we are sticking in more hard efforts, more fast training in this marathon block to see if we can crack sub three again. So do please click the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, that'd be awesome. We'd love to have you as part of the Film My Run community. And let's get on with looking at last week's training. Now, because we've got a jam packed week on the Film My Run channel this week, we're gonna whiz through this pretty quickly. If you've watched the first two episodes of the Paris Marathon training block, then you'll know what's coming. And this week has been fairly similar to the last two weeks. On Monday, we started with our usual nice, easy run, 10 miles, this time flat on the seafront from Worthing all the way down to Shoreham and back. Nice and easy. Then Monday evening was track session. It was freezing cold and we did hard effort of 1200 meters with a 90 second rest, 1000 meters with a 90 second rest, 800, then 600, and then 400, all off 90 seconds, hard as we could go, really good session. And you can see when we look at the heart rate, how much work I put into that session. So a double run day on Monday, totaling 25 kilometers. And then I did eight kilometers of a double run day on Tuesday, fairly easy running, a couple of technical disasters on Zwift. So it was a bit of a damp squib of a day, unfortunately, but we got eight kilometers in over two short runs. Wednesday was our hard interval day on Zwift. So we do these Paris Marathon interval training sessions on the treadmill. And we did eight sets of 90 seconds, increasing for the first four sets, increasing speed, and then a recovery in the middle uh, of about four minutes, I think. And then we did the whole set again, another four, 90 seconds, increasing the speed each time. I think the fastest I got up to was uh, three minutes, 11 seconds per kilometer. So that's about 19 kilometers per hour for the last 90 second rep. So that was 8K on Wednesday. And then we had another double run day on Thursday. The film My Run 500 climbing session on Zwift in the morning, that's just over 4K. And then in the evening, I did bag that badge, which was 11 kilometers. So a good 15 to 16 kilometers, nearly 10 miles covered. Nice, easy, low heart rate running on Thursday. If you're enjoying the video, do please hit the like button. If you're finding it interesting or entertaining, then uh, do consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to support the channel even more, then uh, do become a member. You can join the Film My Run channel from as little as $1 or £1 a month. If you want to see more videos, if you want to help me create more content, more running content, for you to watch every week, then do consider becoming a member of the Film My Run channel. I took it really easy on Friday on the treadmill, just five to six kilometers of really easy running. A bit of a ramp up at the end, but uh, in general, very easy on Friday in preparation for a hard weekend. Continuing the park run series that I'm currently doing, I went to Bevendine Down Park Run, which is east of Brighton. And it's a beautiful trail run park run. And I met Joel Wilkinson there, you know, from eight out of 10 cats, does countdown. Uh, anyway, so uh, I ran quite hard there, came in fifth place in uh, 22 minutes. So it's a, it's a tough old park run. But if you love your park runs, Bevendine Down is definitely one to go to. Anyway, so that was Saturday morning. And then I had cross country in the afternoon. So we had the Sussex Masters cross country event and I went really hard at that as well. So two hard efforts on Saturday. So a double run day on Saturday, hard effort. And then another double run day on Sunday, simply because I needed to make up the 100 kilometers. We did a long run on the uh, hills of uh, the South Downs, beautiful run with the morning sunrise on a cold winter's day, 21K in the morning. And then I just rounded off the week with a nice easy 5K on the treadmill in the evening. So another double run day. So you see a pattern here. 
lots of double run days, uh, quite a bit of interval training as well, and hard efforts thrown in along with our nice, easy, low heart rate training. Now, if you're a YouTube premium subscriber, this won't bother you. Uh, but if you don't pay for YouTube, might be time for a little advert now. So just over 100 kilometers, about 103 kilometers covered this week. Uh, most of it actually outside. So I did less on the treadmill this week, 43 kilometers on the treadmill, about 60K outdoors. And that was split over 11 different activities. And four of those were what I would describe as hard effort. So uh, that's quite a lot. Four out of 11 runs being a hard effort. And that works out, what is it, 38%? Something like that, something ridiculous. Definitely not 80-20 running, that's for sure. In terms of distance, well, I did 103-ish kilometers. So uh, about 25%, 24% of my runs were hard efforts. Uh, so uh, yeah, about, about 24K of really hard running. Now remember in these hard sessions, there is recovery time, there is rest time, uh, there is rest distance but that's all included in hard miles. So when I say I did 25K of hard running, it wasn't 25 actual kilometers of all out effort. Although actually with park run and the cross country, it probably wasn't too far off that. And then we come to heart rate zones. So 13%, uh, 14% or so of my running this week was in those top zones, zone four and five. So when you're doing interval training, when you're doing a fast race at full pelt, you should really be, if you're working hard, you should be in zones four and five of your heart rate. And so, yeah, for about 13% of my nine and a half hours of running this week, last week, I was in zones four and five. So just one more thing I want to show you before we close off this episode of the Paris Marathon training videos, um, it's training peaks. Now, I don't know if you use training peaks, but I find it a lot better than Strava for setting goals to improve my fitness because I love uh, TSS and CTL. Now, TSS is your training stress score. And for every run you do, you get a TSS score. And the harder the run or the longer the run, the harder the run, um, the greater the TSS score you get. And then from that is computed your critical training load or your fitness level. Now my CTL, my fitness uh, was at 52 in January, early January when we started, around about 52 or something. And I'm gradually increasing that number. So by increasing the number of hard efforts I do, increasing the mileage that I do, my fitness is increasing. And you can see that uh, clearly on the graph here. Um, with it going up now to about 68, 66, 68, something like that. Um, so I love looking at that and I find it better than Strava um, for gauging how my fitness is improving. And I like being able to set on a calendar the runs that I'm going to do and the TSS score that I'm going to get from those runs so I can see what my TSS score will be at the end of the week and therefore what my CTL, my fitness score, will be at the end of the week. And it's really easy to set that up and to keep monitoring it. And like I say, I find it better than Strava for that. If you'd like to watch the Bevan Dean Down Park Run that I did on Saturday featuring Joe Wilkinson, then do click that link right there. That'll take you to that. Otherwise, have a great week, everybody. Enjoy your training. Let me know in the comments down below. What are you training for? How's your training going? And we'll see you on the start line next time. Take care. Bye bye.